ഹായ് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു ഗൂഗിൾ ക്ലാസ് റൂമോ ശ്രീ ഗോകുലം പബ്ലിക് സ്കൂൾ ഗുരുവായ ഐ ആം ജിസിയർ ഹിയോ യുവർ സോഷ്യൽ സയൻസ് ടീച്ചർ ഹൗ ആർ യു ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഹോ ഓൾ ആർ ഡൂയിങ് വെൽ ടുഡേ വി വിൽ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് എ ന്യൂ ചാപ്റ്റർ ഇൻ പൊളിറ്റിക്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ചാപ്റ്റർ ത്രീ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഡു യു ഹാവ് ദ ഹാബിറ്റ് ഓഫ് റീഡിംഗ് ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ വൈ റീഡിംഗ് ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ ഓർ വാച്ചിംഗ് ഇൻ ടെലിവിഷൻ Have you heard about the word government? I hope the word government is so familiar to you, right? Do you want to know more about our government and its importance in our life? Today we will discuss about what is government and its responsibilities towards the nation. So let's start with the term government. Government is the mechanism or groups which governs and implement decisions in an organized manner under certain written rules that means it is a type of organization which rules or governs a country and it is responsible for everything in the country whatever happening in the country actually it's controlled by a government do you know from word the word government derived the word government derived from the word govern which means to exercise authority that means some person or group of people or some elected people which is controlling a country to exercise their authority given by either the people or from hereditary we call it as a government from this we can understand we have the duty to exert the system of government if we exert the system of government then only the government can control our country that means the government is meant for the nation whatever the type of government is they actually work for the well-being of the nation besides that government we can also call it as a system that control under which the right to make laws and implement them smoothly first we have seen after we got independence we made our own constitution constitution means set of laws that gives an idea to indian society what we will follow it also gives an idea to how our government will work even that the same way it is given an idea to the government that what is the expectation from them how they need to behave what are the limitations for the government what are the powers given to the government to improve or modify or to bring india in the next level all these are known as government now we will discuss about the responsibilities of the government towards the nation we know that india is a vast country so it is not easy to count the responsibilities of the government towards the nation government is needed whenever wherever it is needed so let's discuss the major responsibilities of the government the main responsibility of the government is to govern the country or rule the country how to govern the country that is mentioned in our constitution constitution means a set of rules that guides how a country state or other political organization works as per the constitution the government need to govern the country to take care of well being of the citizens those who are living in the country the next responsibility of the government is control of the economy our government is always controlling the economy of india government subsidies plays an important role in building infrastructure and promoting research and development not only this government also responsible to maintain trade with foreign countries and at the same time the circulation of currency is also controlled by the government the next responsibility of the government is to provide social needs 
to poor or underprivileged people. Underprivileged means the people coming from lower caste, those who are not getting their benefit. So, the duty of the government to provide better living conditions like nutritious food, better medical facilities, education, etc. The next responsibility of the government is maintaining infrastructural facilities. What are the infrastructural facilities we require to lead a better life? Roads, schools, hospitals, electricity, etc. Right? Who is the person provide these facilities to us? Yes, it's our government. Our government is responsible to maintain good infrastructural facilities like roads, schools, hospitals, public places, etc. And then another responsibility of the government is running postal and railway services. The next responsibility of the government is protecting the boundaries of the country and maintaining peaceful relations with the other countries. That means the government always have the duty to serve the people, those who are living in the border area of the country. And at the same time, the government responsible to maintain good international relationship with the other countries. They are representative of the whole country. How they are maintaining relationship with other countries that reflects the country's position in international scenario. So, it is one of the important responsibility of the government. Another responsibility of the government is maintaining law and regulation. If there is a dispute or if some has committed a crime, you find people in a court. That means courts are also part of the government. All these shows the responsibility or duty of the government and its importance in our daily life. I hope all of you understood the concept clearly. Children, today you have to learn the question number one only from this chapter. And please note that the later URLs, notes of the lesson and the test paper are also attached along with the class. Make use of these available materials. Study well and attend the test paper without fail. That's all for today. Thank you.